Today's video, I have a great hand-eye coordination drill for you guys, and also a great way to develop a great one-two and a one-two jab. Among other punches, as you advance, you can use this drill as well. I got Siobhan here to demonstrate, and what we're doing with this drill is we're using a tennis ball. Okay, so what he's gonna do when he's working with this tennis ball is he's going to get in his boxing stance, He's going, to have, he's going to be in that heel-toe stance, okay, and then he's going to put that, that tennis ball out there in the position of where he would be when he throws a jab. Now, the fundamentals of boxing, when you're throwing a basic jab and you learn how to throw a basic jab, a jab is a recoil of your right hand. It's a, all, everything is a hip turn. So when you throw that jab, you are twisting your waist counterclockwise, okay? And you are turning your, when you throw the jab, you're turning your waist counterclockwise and you're putting this, this jab, you're putting it in the pathway of the right hand. So in other words, if he hits me with the jab, it's the punch you don't see that can knock you out, that knocks you out, okay? So he's got that jab on me, I can't see that right hand. And if you guys go and you buy my instructional videos, Everybody should have those instructional videos, okay? Because I'm gonna teach you hand position, I'm teaching you all the foundations that you need, okay? And this is a foundation drill right here, but at the same time, there's so many things that you wanna be able to develop with your hips, and I give you drills in those videos, and it's like I always tell everybody, you can have million dollar moves, but if you have a two dollar basic foundation, you're never gonna get those moves to go to the level that you can and be as proficient and as efficient as you could possibly be unless you have a great foundation, okay? So when he's throwing his jab, one of the things we're talking about is basic foundation is, it, is the jab is a twist. It is, it is a recoil and is a twist. Just like your right hand is a twist for power, you can have power, you can throw a jab with as much power as a right hand. Okay, so now he throws that jab right there. He's turning his waist counterclockwise He's putting himself and he's blinding, he's putting it in the, in the way of the path of the right hand. So now what he's going to do is he's, when he's going to throw his right hand, he's going to straight across catch that tennis ball and he's, that's it, straight across, see? That's, that's coming right back with the jab again, okay? So what he's doing is when he throws that jab, when he has that tennis ball right there, that jab, that is in, in the line of where he stores his right hand. And when I'm watching him, I'm working on all the, te all the foundation and technical things that I want to see. So I'm going to tell him right now, chin down a little bit, okay? We want to tuck that chin. So we throw that jab, and we want that shoulder, that's it. And he's going to go one eye, one eye with that, with that jab. His left eye is going down those knuckles right there. So then when he throws the, throws the right hand, that's it. So now what he's doing when he crosses over, I can't see where he's storing the jab. So when he comes back with the jab, I don't see the jab again. Right. Okay. So now so he's going to show you the drill, what he's doing. And I'm, what we're working on is him turning his waist east and west. He's going clockwise to counterclockwise. So right there he's in that jab position. He's going to turn clockwise with his right hand. Now he's going to turn counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. Everything is straight across. And he's not pushing forward and, and he's not throwing something and pushing himself like if he was to throw it and catch and, and lean forward. He doesn't want to do that and catch the ball. He wants everything going straight across. Straight across like that. Yes. Okay. The other thing he's doing when he throws that jab is he's not throwing it over his left leg. I hear guys talking about you throw it over your left leg when you're throwing a jab, then you throw the right hand over your right leg. Well, then you're hitting two different spots. You're, you're, you're not hitting one head, you're hitting two heads. And then if, you, if you're going to hit one head, that means you have to go here. Okay, let's say you do have to hit, you're trying to hit one head. First of all, when you do that, I can see your right hand, which is, Siobhan is doing this southpaw, so he, I'm seeing his left hand, okay? So if I was saying right hand, I'm talking, I'm talking about if you're an orthodox fighter. He's demonstrating this basic foundation drill as a southpaw, but it's the same thing if you're orthodox, you just reverse it. But the bottom line is when he's throwing his jab over his right leg, okay, I can see his left hand. So now I'm not hiding the punch. The second thing he's got to do is he's got to throw the right, the left, his left hand 
across his body. You don't want that. You don't want that. See, he's cross, and his shoulder trajectory is dropping down, okay? So you don't want that. You want everything going straight across. It's like martial arts, break boards. You want everything learning how to drive all that power straight through the target. Your break, your, that's, that's basic foundation. Learning how to twist your waist east and west. Nothing going north and south. Nothing leaning. Do you do things in a fight differently sometimes? Yes, you can bait a guy and do things. But right now, basic foundation to be able to step one, basic one, okay, is to learn how to throw punches straight across. That's it. You're building that million dollar foundation, okay, so you can have million dollar moves and work at the, at the utmost. You can't have a million dollar foundation, a million, a million, you can't practice million dollar moves unless, if you have a two dollar foundation, two dollar basic foundation. So, in other words, all these guys are teaching all these tricks, but if you don't have this, then you're never going to be proficient and efficient and at your, at, these moves are never going to be at their best. So this is a great drill to be able to practice that, okay? So you, if he's over here, now he's got a, I can see his left hand. He's not developing a good hidden one-two where guys like Joe Lewis and Sugar Robinson and the great fighters of today, James, uh, uh, even past years, and uh, James Tony and Roy Jones, uh, they hide the punch, okay? And they throw a good one-two, they're hiding the punch. Boom, straight across. That's it. Okay, Sugar Ray Leonard, great one-two. He throw that jab, it's blinding their rear hand. Okay, so the guy doesn't see, it's hiding their rear hand. And they throw the jab, it's hiding their rear hand. It's not over here where they can see it, and they got a punch across their body. Okay, so that drill, what he's doing right there is I'm watching him, dude, I'm watching his hip turn. And I want him to turn that foot. When he throws the left hand, this fo that foot is going to stay on the ground. When he throws the, comes back with the left jab, okay? And we're watching that he's not pushing his weight forward. So if you push your weight forward, see, we don't want that, okay? We want him to go just keep on going straight across. So he's going, sit. And I'm here and I'm looking, I'm saying, is he keeping his chin down? He's keeping his chin down and he's switching one eye on each punch, okay? So when he throws that, it's left eye down the barrel of the gun, down these two knuckles. So when he throws the left hand, the, now his left eye is going down the barrel of the gun. So when he's at a southpaw, it's jab, right eye, left eye, right eye, left eye, right eye, left eye, right eye, exactly. So he's going counterclockwise, and he's going clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. And it's all about hip turn. It's all about hip turn. You, you got, and, and keeping his balance when he's throwing at, is he got his hip hinge. Where's your hip hinge? That's it. So he's got a good base, and he can just rotate on the shot. And we want him to punch straight across, where he's punching up the eye level. We don't want to punch down too low. We want that shot being right in there. And he's going to, everything wants to be straight, and he's practicing all that hip turn. Yes. And it's a great hand-eye coordination drill, a great hand-eye coordination drill. Very good. And Javon's great at it. You know, a lot of guys are messing, missing that ball. So he's, he's got to time it when he catches the ball. He's got to be able to time that. See? But the technique is what makes it be able to do it very, very well because he's just going straight across, straight across. Sit, see? So, but that's good. He's human. He's making mistakes. But he's doing very, very well there where he's turning straight across with that, okay? And he's hot. See what he just did there? He did that little hip hinge in his hips, which also makes him bow a little bit, and he's hiding that left hand, and then he throws that left hand right where the tennis ball is at, and now he's going to put the right hand right back the jab right there, okay? So you're practicing a good one-two jab. So he would just do it without the tennis ball. It's a one-two jab. He'd go, one-two jab. That's it. One-two jab. And everything he's doing is a twist straight across. One-two jab. Feet, feet are just a little bit outside of shoulder width. He's got a heel-toe stance where the toes line up with the heel, and he goes straight across. One, two, jab. One, two, jab. That's it. So he throws that jab. He throws that jab. Okay, do it again. He throws that jab, keeps that foot on the floor, toes still pointing predominantly to the target. He hides the left hand. The left hand comes. Now, if he's got this on the target... I can actually not see the jab coming back now again. Back with the jab. 
Boom. Okay? So every punch is hidden. What he doesn't want to do when he throws his left hand is tilt. So he's going, doesn't want to do that. Okay? So everything's straight across. One, two, jab. One, two, jab. Right. So if he's doing with the tennis ball, it's the same thing. One, two, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So that's it. That's what he's doing. So that's just a great hand-eye coordination drill. You guys can take that into the to the gym, practice that. Um, you could do it having someone watch you and, and try to have them a coach, someone watching you and trying to really look at the things I was talking about. Um, you know, one eye down the barrel of the gun, uh, sliding your chin with each shot, keeping your chin down. And he throws that right there. Uh, so just when you're doing it again, see he's there. When he, throws the, when he goes to throw the left hand, that's it. He wants to be there, okay? Right hand, left hand, that's it, beautiful. So that's the things, and you're watching the hip turn. The hip's constantly turning. It's, you're not pushing weight forward, so you have to come back. Nothing's north and south, everything's east and west. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well, at Tommy and Kello Boxing, for other boxing-related stuff and a lot of upcoming news as well. Check out the training camp that I have with Roy Jones getting ready to fight Mike Tyson. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment below. Leave your guys' questions, and I'll see you guys next time.